Hello, free enterprise and FF4 lovers alike. Welcome to the final. I'm Muppets in Space, and here with me is the run buffer, the altruist of ATB, the captain of the ship, Rivers McStock, dude. Rivers, how are you? Muppets, I'm doing very well. Thank <laughs> you for that stirring intro. I, I now know that I should have worn socks today. <laughs> Rivers McGowan, uh, premier runner and uh, wizard of FF4 here with me. Uh, watching Penguinator, Zilch, uh, Zilch, Zilch, Kirchen, and Iker. I probably slotted a few of those names. Uh, feel free to correct me. Well, I don't want to correct you, but what I do want to do is talk about how uh, Kirchen kind of changed the game on everybody earlier in the event. Uh, oh, in yeah. two, he, he, went, he went ahead and uh, found a way to beat Xermus with these Edwards, not by uh, leveling them at all, but actually by hiding and using some very clever reflex strats. So to see which of our runners take that path, uh, what kind of uh, play they make with it, and then also, you know, who's going to represent the other side of that, maybe. Yeah, I remember uh, running an Edward Percent Seed uh, a couple of nights ago just in preparation for this. And, ho, oh, doctor, are you in for a treat here? Because you've got to be creative with this. All you got is Edward and maybe a spoon. Depends on whether or not you find it. Well, the good thing is at least you don't have just Tella. Yeah, well, that's fair. That's absolutely <laughs> It could fair. be worse. could be worse. <laughs> it could be worse. Could we, be we, we did give you the meme spoon, so, I mean, you can do what you want with that, too. <laughs> Meme Spoon is fantastic. Also, uh, I believe you get two free key items right at the top if you so choose. Is that correct? Uh, you do get one free key item from uh, the Baron Handoff. Edward in bed uh, will have a key item as well. We uh, specifically put this in because that's an Edward percent seed. And of course, we want you to talk to every Edward that you can. That's right. That's right. It is all Edward, all day, every day. Edward, Bedward, Deadward, you know him, you love him. He's the spooniest of spoony bards. So uh, what are we looking for here? Uh, we know what we're looking for from Kirch. Uh, see if maybe we'll have a repeat performance of uh, some of the Edward stuff that we saw out of him. Uh, what about Penguinator? Uh, what, are we, what are we looking for from Penguin over here? So Penguin actually is working a lot on a very specific grind strat where with Edward, he would go into giant, uh, find a um, search or Mac giant grind, which was very interesting. Um, huh. I don't know if he's going to go for that in this one as well, because I know that he's also been indoctrinated into the uh, sort, of, sort of Christian cult, but uh, we shall see. <laughs> and it looks like our runners have started now. So we shall see indeed. Here it comes. It's everybody's favorite time. Usually it's figuring out who we're running with. We know it's Edward and Edward. We start out with the Earth Crystal. Oh, that'll give them some incentive to go to Troy. Oh, wait, they already have that. Well, I mean, I guess they have even more incentive now. Uh, we should know that these are a, this is a T4 seed, which means that uh, you can get pretty much anything in any chest. And the Earth Crystal being available at the very start means that you can dip into that Earth Crystal treasury and just, you know, come out with like thousands of, of GP to sell. That's right, and uh, because it's T4, you have the potential to get some real top tier items, uh, including Adamant. Uh, I believe uh, you can get um, uh, Artemis Bow uh, in there as well. Like it's all on the table, uh, even though uh, some of it is a little less likely than. Yeah, now that uh, right away we see Iker going for that uh, second key item from Bedward right over there in the lower right hand corner. We've got a Baron key there, it looks like. Yeah, interesting. Uh, the other three runners are uh, hitting up uh, uh, the uh, Baron Town treasures. Iker is going right for the massive treasure hall at the bottom of Troy. Yeah, a lot of uh, what an Edward Percent seed is really about is just trying to find... Um, all the treasure that Edward cannot use and then sell it to a shop for massive GP and then get the items that he needs to actually kind of shine a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Let's see Penguinator uh, getting into that airship, and uh, yeah, he's gonna follow suit. He's going to go right for the uh, Troya stuff as well. Getting that bed work. Uh, looks like he's actually going into the uh, town proper to check the weapon shop. Uh, what are they looking for specifically in the weapon shop here, Rivers? Well, with Edward, the best uh, thing you can find in weapon shop really is the uh, Artemis arrows. Uh, also, uh, samurai stuff is at a premium. A samurai bow is really nice. Mm -hmm. uh, anything this big, uh, headbands, uh, black belts, karate, that sort of thing. And, and as always, we are looking at life potions, hourglasses, your usual staples for getting through uh, any sort of where uh, you can run into a free boss fight or two. Yeah, this is uh, this is this is the T four seed with the S two flag set. So, or sorry, the S three flag set. So there will be a, a lot of good things that you can find that you wouldn't see in like a league match. Like you can get a moon veil mm. to get you through something tough. You can find uh, uh, some of the attack items to make the early game a little bit easier. Yeah, one of the uh, one of the classic strats for uh, your T four S three style seeds was. Uh, sell a whole bunch of stuff and uh, go after those big bombs, the Boreas, Gaia drums, uh, that sort of stuff. Yeah, that is the, uh, uh, the what we call it, the Highway to the Zoom the Zone Qualifier uh, Deluxe Strategy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Strata I am all too familiar with. Zilch has uh, gone up and gotten his third Edward, as well as some treasures coming out of... Uh, I always forget the name of that uh, that castle up there that gets destroyed. What is that? That is Damsian, where Edward... Damsian! Uh, that's right, that's right. Where Edward cries over his uh, dead girlfriend, oh, yes. Muppets, please. Basic knowledge. Basic knowledge. Oh, are we seeing AQ do the, the Chocobo Forest check? This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Meme Chocobo Forest crab for a diamond ring. What? Oh, yeah. You gotta have that diamond ring. Or was it diamond armor? I couldn't even tell. It I think it was a, it was a diamond. I think it was a diamond ring. So one of the other things about the uh, free lunch that you can get is uh, you can fill out your party almost instantly. Uh, you don't have to uh, have your characters locked behind anything. Uh, you get your two free characters, your two free Edwards, where you normally get Palom and Por uh in uh, Mystia. And uh, you can also see a free Edward in uh, the Watery Cave and a free Edward in uh, Damsley. Yeah, a lot of runners will choose to leave that uh, watery cave Edward behind right now as they're trying to um, perhaps save up for their endgame strats where they want a low-level Edward in the middle to play with agility. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also see some of them when, when they are trying to do the grind. If they choose to do the grind, uh, they will be trying to get those uh, low-level Edwards up so that they can slingshot them, which is uh, very complicated and a lot of fun. Let's see uh, Penguinator uh, selling out, getting us a ton of gold, buying up uh, seven coffins, a stack of Cure 3s, some, uh, some Bacchus wines, uh, hourglasses, all of that good stuff that you can just chuck at enemies for uh, maximum effect. Yeah, that Silvera thing is, is stacked, and yeah. uh, Penguin might have a little bit of an early edge there if some people try to ignore it. So Vantlion first. That's kind of our first, uh, yeah, we need a Kirch in there too now. That's kind of mm -hmm. our first real dungeon for most runners in Edward Percent. It's just the easiest thing that they can take care of. Yeah, it's a pretty logical first step. You got a boss with about a thousand hit points, right? It's a thousand exactly. Oh, and they're going to find an Artemis bow in there. That's, that's a big, big pickup right there in that line. Yeah, Artemis Bow really helps Edward shine, not only because it's his best uh, attacking weapon, but also because he will be boosting his strength and agility by, I believe, 10 each. So that is a, that is a big boon for our runners right now. Absolutely. Absolutely. Not to mention the back row capabilities, which I believe Edwards already have because they start with the Dreamer. Uh, is that correct? Yeah, all Edwards are back row glitch from the very beginning, so there's not really much to be done about that. <laughs> So we got our first configuration right there at the save point. Uh, Iker is uh, putting that Artemis bow right on there. Gets the ribbon helm, a uh, power shirt. Uh, that is a stacked, stacked character right out of the gun. 
And don't need to be because they're all Edwards. <laughs> they need all the help they can get, folks. They're squishy, but they pack a little bit of pop. See an assassin dagger in there, black belt, uh, all sorts of stuff. Throws them in the back row, throws down a save, and gets it. Oh, we've got the Mist Dragon down here, which would be awesome, except that we've got the, the uh, no free lunch item off, so mm. it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Just another thing to squash on our way to victory. Although it is potentially a uh, an annoying boss in a bad location, uh, one less that you have to deal with. Uh, Demas can actually be a, a big pain when he's got a lot of hit points and speed. Gets three attacks off, and then you just have to sit there and wait for his mist form to go away. So getting that out of the way is actually pretty nice. Looks like we've got a legend sword hanging out in the Antlion Cave, so not uh, the value. Dead end can... in the Antlion Cave. Dead not end. The value, but... Not the value Kirchner's looking for there. <laughs> Yeah, not the value, but you know what? As far as I'm concerned, got an Artemis bow out of it. That's worth it. Far more than one key item. Well, we shall see. Uh, um, it really depends on which strats are on the Kirch and is, is probably not going to use that Artemis bow all that much anyway, but... Uh, are they <laughs> sure all? <laughs> all right, and... Uh... You see Zilch going up to, uh, did Zilch go into the dam state? No, I believe Zilch is at Baron Inn right now. Ah, okay. Interesting. Uh, and I believe he has found Evil Wall at the second bus slot there. That would make sense since it has a lot of HP already. Or maybe he's in Fabul. Either way. Oh, yeah, Fabul. Uh, that's a. Uh, Bit of hit points. Yeah, just as the chat is, is talking about all the, all the stuttering stream, and we're, we apologize for that. We're also trying to fight it too. <laughs> trying to <laughs> so, try to talk to you about this whole thing. <laughs> Make and do. Oh, we got a forty-five HP fire bomb, oh mm. baby. <laughs> yeah, big stuff right there. <laughs> I never understood what the damage calculation for uh, Firebomb was and Lit Bolt and all of that. Well, those are based on your uh, HP. And obviously, the more HP you have, the better. So, like, uh, a Sid doing uh, a Firebomb would be a lot better than a 60 HP character doing a Firebomb, as you just found out on mm -hmm. stream. And yeah, Zelch gets done with the Fabul Gauntlet fight. And... What do we get for our our prize for defeating that evil, evil wall? Well, if it was Forge of the Crystal, we'd be in a good place, but uh, <laughs> unfortunately for our runners, not. <laughs> Got another dead end. So dead end at Antlion, dead end at Fabu. That's right. We've got uh, Ordeal still. We've got Baron Inn, and we've got uh, Baron Crystal which our runners got as their first two key items. So interesting to see who will dive this first. Be interesting. Who will play the safer route. It would be very interesting to see. It's not often that we see the entirety of the overworld open to you right out of the gun uh, and not a shred of anything. Yeah, unfortunately, our runners haven't found a twin harp yet, so we can't say the music. But hey, this is trending in the right direction, right? Let's go with that. <laughs> So here we see Penguinator and uh, Iker uh, getting after the Fable Gauntlet fight as well. Go grab their adamant armor, or their adamant, and uh, get their disappointment soup right there. Zilch is about to be very happy as he walks into that Silvera shop, which has what we discovered was a lot of good items for the rest of this run. There's Cure 3, or sorry, there's Bacchus Wines, there's Coffins, there's Hourglasses, there's a lot of different things that you can do. Also, I saw a Poison Axe pickup, which is uh, huge. I believe it sells for 45,000 GP, which uh, quite a bit of what's needed to uh, complete whatever strat uh, you end up uh, going Yeah, you really want to, you really want to find in this format just things you can sell. Uh, Poison Axe is very good, of course, but also, you know, we've seen some runners run to like a Mazamune. We've seen some uh, some big weapons, some wizard spears, and uh, yeah, all that all that every every dollar counts in this one. So we see ten Bacchus and uh, ten Stardust, four coffins, 
Eight cure threes, and Zilch is gone. Yeah, Zilch just went shopping for everything, and he found it. <laughs> it's all in Silvera. Well, I saw some interesting things for sale in the uh, in the armor shop up there too. I saw ninja helmets. Uh, I think I saw power shirts for sale as well. All of which uh, Edward can use um, if need be. Yeah, Edward really fits into this format uh, in, in an interesting way because he uh, has so few things that he can actually equip that when you find one of them, you really want one of them. Mm hmm Yeah. I mean, you can make use of the classic uh, strength and speed upgrades. Uh, uh, there's strength upgrades with your headband and your bandana. Uh, strength and speed with the ninja helm. Uh, ribbons. Uh, and then you got your protect rings, your crystal ring. Uh, can't equip a strength ring, can't equip a Zeus gauntlet, so those are out of the question. Uh, but your power shirt... Uh, black belt, karate, uh, and pretty much every uh, every bow and arrow imagine you're looking for. Uh, maybe a dancing dagger or two for your beginning uh, weapon. And, uh, then you're just uh, praying for those Artemis bows and Adamant armors. Penguinator, forgetting that this was uh, a free lunch seed, <laughs> just went and talked to the Mistrekken. <laughs> I loved I loved that Penguinator just sat there for a second and like, all right, animation, you can start any time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, right, that thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, I actually meant to go down and get all of these lit arrows. Excuse me. Yes, yes, yes. It was, it was all treasure hunting. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and we see the opening of this game tends to go relatively similar for everyone. Uh, with minor divergences, minor variances uh, between each. You see some going into the item, uh, the item shops, and buying up. Uh, what they plan on using to either grind or beat Zeromus with, uh, and some selling out and uh, equipping up their Edwards so that they have some defense, some weapons, uh, something to do some actual damage. Uh, but uh, for the most part, it's treasure hunt, sell it all, and rinse and repeat for a little bit. Yeah, our runners right now are doing a lot of item shopping. That's very normal for an Edward seed, actually. There really are a lot of things that you want early game to make him you know, kind of safe for some of the tougher boss spots in the early game, like the Baron N boss, uh, number two. And uh, in this case, Earth Crystal, Earth Crystal has some pretty hard bosses too for, you know, your little 100 HP Edwards. Yeah, that being said, uh, you know, I, I felt when I first heard about this uh, style of play that uh, it would take forever to play an Edward C just because you had to grind so much. But we're already four key items in, and it's only 14 minutes and 50 seconds. Yeah, we, uh, we we know that Catalyte is a big commit for people. Um, we didn't want to do that with Edward. We know that people just kind of want to celebrate Edward in some new and interesting ways. And hey, that's where we're at. Look at this. This is Edward. He can win fights against Zero Miss without even having to level. He's the best, sort of. And Penguinator is the first to do the uh, Baron in. Uh, goes after uh, little Squidball Octomam, the mammoth of the sea. And who's behind Octomam? Oh, the elements. Okay, that's a lot easier than the other way around. Yeah, I, I saw Rubison at first was like... <laughs> yeah, Ruby in that spot is not easy. That being said, uh, when it transitions into Ruby out of out of Mylon Z here, if uh, in, in a tough spot in the ATB, you can get nuked pretty hardcore with a Fire 2 followed by a Fire 3 AoE. Uh, it can really do the damage to you. And so we've got Kirchum climbing Mount Ordeal, so he is going to gamble on the Ordeals. Well, this is one that's interesting to me because a lot of our runners uh, probably avoid this, knowing that they don't actually need Ordeals with a long check. So I have a reason to do it. Uh, there is a Magma Key in the Baron Inn for Penguinator. Oh, He's got to be happy with that. baby. <laughs> Five key items in, and now we have access to the Underworld. And that opens up pretty much the entire rest of the game, save for uh, an item shop on the moon. We probably aren't going to... We've got Kirch and uh, Bacchus mining his middle uh, Edward here. That's Kirch E, if in case you're wondering. 
putting out some decent damage, but not as you can see, not really at the level where they were just competing with the Zeus Rages. Uh, we see dancing daggers for sale in the Baron Weapon Shop. Uh, uh, Penguin goes ahead and uh, throws down some bones to uh, grab grab one. Gets a few rune rings, which is an interesting pickup. A uh, little known uh, fact that you can equip rune rings on Edward. A little magic defense as well as uh, just a minuscule amount of physical defense. Looks like we've got our French vanilla Mylon guarding the bridge here. <laughs> yeah, uh, Edward percent percent for the Zermas fight. Uh, you know, other than Ripper and Crystal Ring, you're really not finding a lot of stuff that actually boosts his magic defense in a meaningful way. So, Penguin kind of buffering against the worst case scenario there by picking up those rings. And we don't see him going into the Baron Castle. Uh, we see him right away hitting the underground. Uh, it's pretty much the percentage. Free key item in uh, the in the Fey March. Uh, your Yang check in the uh, in the Sylvan Cave for a couple of extra key items. That'd get him up to seven key item. Only 18 minutes in. Did Zilch just cure three of that Mylon Z and it didn't actually hurt him? That's interesting. I don't think huh. I've seen that before. <laughs> I've never seen that. You know, it turns out it's not undead, just Mylon Z. Well, no, it is undead because you hmm. can cure for it and, and vanilla, but it maybe it's something about that spot or, or huh. maybe uh, the item itself is, is not uh, effective at where the heal spell would be. Strange. One thing I love about randomizers, you learn something new about this game every time you play it. Uh, right. <laughs> Penguin's doing a little bit more shopping or it goes down into the deep dark underworld we'll see if Kirchner will be rewarded here uh, everybody else pretty much did the magma key baron in check and i think they're just all gonna play underground now yeah this is our first real all-in move uh i think Kirchner's banking on uh, a big payout here okay pan that could pay that could pay oh that could pay big time that could pay in a big way right there uh extra key item uh, basically, uh, you're looking at two key items for that yank. Who will be the hero that checks the job dwarf, though? That's what we all want to know. Ooh, we got mute arrows and charm arrows down in down in the dwarf town. Tomra. No, penguin, talk. Talk, penguin, talk. Oh, you failed us, penguin. <laughs> oh, I thought he was I thought he was going for it. I saw him turn around. Going right to the door. He'll talk to the Miss Dragon, but not the job dwarf. What a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Figured he'd already lost a couple of frames. Yeah, he's just flying right into a wall. There we go. <laughs> Exodus says run in val. <laughs> The crossover memes are real, folks. Yeah, Kirshen uh, sunk about five minutes of his uh, run and getting this pan. Uh, that could prove to be a big difference right here. Well, it's Zilch be the hero we need. Come on, Zilch. You know you want to check the, the job, Dwarf. <laughs> It's even asking him to look at. Oh, he's a philosophy professor. Akir, Akir, my boy. There we go. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Yeah, Zilch does it too. Philosophy and religion professor. That is uh, a very detailed job there. So in case you want to know the backstory of that, uh, that was a, a user suggestion because in the vanilla game, that dwarf just says something along the lines of, I'm a farmer. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, we decided, Rex Raul brought it up and decided, hey, what if it just said random jobs and then one day Board just downloaded a gigantic list of jobs and now that dwarf can be any job he wants to be. I've got a question. What would he be a farmer of? Dirt. You're in a cave. <laughs> Dirt here. Ha <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, uh, didn't see quite what uh, the uh, Fame Arch chest held for Penguinator. Yeah, that was a that was a little blur there, but thankfully we've got a couple other runners heading right over here right now. So looks like that will be the hook for Zilch uh, and Penguin. Yeah, that's a, another possibility up there. Hook, hookity, hook, hook, hook. We got Kirshen uh, buying up some darkness arrows. He's really only worried about uh, equipping his center Edward. He's pretty much leaving all of the other Edwards to the sharks. Penguin is going to do this this uh, this pan check right now without the pan, so he's only going to get one key on him by doing this, and Zilch is following him now. They're only going to get one key on him for doing this. It's possible that Kirchen could save a lot of time if there's something important by that pan. And it looks like Penguinator is going to go right to that check, too. It's going to go up and see if... Sheila has got the goods or not. Oh, nope. Nope. Never mind. Penguin is actually going to miss. I'm sure he's just ratting in the shops as he goes. I'm probably thinking along the lines of like, hey, if something important here is here and then I don't have Darkness Crystal, tap Darkness Crystal and I have go mode anyway. Like you, you spend a lot of time watching that cutscene, So probably just wanting to wrap that in right now. Well, he wants those silk webs and there he goes. He's going to nab up five of them. Five is a curious number. Is it? Is it any more curious than four? <laughs> well, I mean, he was intentionally going to 15 and then 10 and then five. Just wondered uh, what the thought process was behind all of it looked like he was measuring his GP and kind of, I want to play. We've got a rat tail behind Sheila one, so that hook will be instantly checked. Got an awful lot of fetch questing happening right here. Not a whole lot of boss battles required for all of these key items. Yeah, what you're seeing right now is you're seeing uh, three of our runners do kind of the uh, easy path, the, the, the common way to do these things and everything. Um, we don't know if Kirshen's going to take that path yet or not, but he has got the pan, so he probably wants to check that right away. Uh, uh, Kirshen just got the magma key from the Baron Inn, so I have a feeling we're about to see a Fey March run and a pan check almost immediately. Very interesting that we, our runners got Baron key and Earth Crystal like right off the bat and haven't done either of them yet. Well, uh, it makes a little bit of sense considering that's uh, that's two boss battles for one key item uh, on both locations, actually. And that is just the sand ruby, so uh, another dead end there for that rat tail. Rough. The worst thing for uh, any kind of Edward percent seed is having to fight tough boss fights with lower level Ed Edwards, so this is not shaping out how our runners would like it right now. A lot of it is telling them you know, not only are our Baron Castle and, and uh, Tower of Zot still on the table, but also Tower of Babel is on the table, and mm -hmm. also Dwarf Castle is on the table, and maybe Sealed Cave is on the table too, so. Yeah, oh. that's, that's pretty rough. Um, uh, see, uh, Penguinator uh, entering the Adamant Grotto uh, from the bottom as opposed to from the town side, which the first time I ever saw somebody do that, it absolutely blew my mind. I had no idea that there was a path there. <laughs> Yeah, in the vanilla game, you would only use that if you're playing uh, the Excalibur route. And if you play that, of course, you don't care about your time anyway, so you might as well take the extra three steps or whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. As always, Rosa for life. It's always back, uh, always back Rosa. <laughs> Never stop back. going in on Rosa. <laughs> so here we see Kirshen. Going to the underground. Ooh, gonna do the pan check. Hitting the pan check first. Right, and because um, this is a, a K format without uh, extra summons or anything, he will only get two key items. This is item that he gets from these sylphs will be very valuable. It'll be from the ultra rare pool, uh, but it will not be a key item. 
I've seen as little as an Ether One or as much as an Adamant uh, from this particular drop. What do we get out of it? Yang takes a beating. Wants to nap a little bit longer. Uh, kind of a dud. Samurai shield. I think that sells for like 10,000, so not the end of the world, but not one of the kinds you really wanted to see there. No, no yeah, adamant. It's a few <laughs> Benjamins. Oh, Zilch! Zilch fighting over there. Bahamut? Zilch is, Zilch is fighting Bahamut, which means he has actually started the Baron uh, Castle sequence. If you recall, at the very beginning of our run, uh, Bahamut was in the Bagan spot, so... Uh, actually, not a very hard fight, given his levels and kind of his speed, the speed of his Edwards right now. Yeah, you can uh, see that uh, that center Edwards going to town got three shots off before one tick on the countdown. See, we're only at three, and he's already uh, seven or eight shots deep, and yeah, GG's right there. Ikir now also following this Baron path, and Penguin now following the uh, Ordeal's path. This is getting interesting. That's a very interesting play, given uh, given where Penguinator was going. Uh, I was certain that Penguinator was going to possibly try the uh, Baron Castle as well. We've got a vanilla Kenatsu on the throne <laughs> with the Edward party. That is not easy, by the way. That, that actually is not a free fight at all. However, if our runners have got enough uh, cool things, they should be able to take it out without any real difficulty, but not free. Well, he, he goes Zerk Edward. How is he going to take care of this guy? Oh, he's got Zeus Rages. That's how. The old trusty Zeus Rage, that's how, yeah. <laughs> right. That's right. Get that lovely text box. The lit scared him. The lit scares me all the time, too. Yeah. Now, the one thing about the Kainatsu fight that uh, sometimes can nip me in the... is, uh, yeah, you can uh, get that lit scared him text box. But if you nullify his uh, water too late, he still gets a wave shot off, and uh, that can uh, really wreck you. But shake, rattle, and roll, Zilch is through. Yep, we've got the crackle right here. Let's find out what Kirkton's getting on his pan investment, too. That is the twin harp. Oh, baby, let's get some music going. Be a hero, well, now you have to think that Kirkton's going to follow this to the bitter end, right? I mean, if you've already invested that time, uh, it, it, it would seem to be appropriate to continue chasing that chain, but we will see what he does. Yeah, is he gonna... Mm, go in the wrong direction. Uh, oh no, he's gonna, he's gonna go uh, check his rat tail. Right, and that's a perfectly reasonable play too, of course. Mm -hmm. And we're about to see what uh, Zilch is going to get out of Baron. That is probably a big deal at this point. Give him what we've seen. I mean, nine key items deep for Zilch. The Darkness Crystal, oh. that opens up some grinding. And opens now... up a couple of grinding uh, spots. You can actually turn on encounters and grind on them. You can can open up chests on the moon and grind on uh, red dragons, uh, behemoths. Uh, you can uh, grind on moon bosses. There's all sorts of options available. To so Zilch is now one line from go mode and Kirchen is going to give us the music. Yeah, here it comes. Kirchen's going to cave Magnus. It's on his trusty black chocobo. And in he goes. And uh, I'd just like to point out that uh, Kirkshin is already at 10 ki 
Like, he's already hit double experience, right? Yeah, the, uh, the pan chain is, is very good for that in these seeds, of course, and then also rat tail guarantee kind of kind of change you into another key item too so that was uh some very early finds that were very good for that key item count not that kirchen is guaranteed to use those 10 key items to grind in any way sure enough sure enough and well, what i'm what i'm noticing here too is that uh there's not a whole lot of uh top tier uh armor gear that we've found we've we've found some black belts and that's about it we found some black belts, a couple of samurai bows, and an Artemis bow, and that's all I've seen. Uh, so we may actually see uh, Kirkshin his uh, low-level strats in this more so because... Well, I think he was going the other way, but definitely without an adamant, that uh, changes a lot of the 100% calculus as far as who can survive Big Bangs and, and how you want to play that for sure. Looks like we got penguin going to the penguin going to the dwarf castle now, so that's a new one we haven't seen yet on stream. And now for the part where we all shut up and let the music play. Waiting with bated breath. Is that Bubble Bob? That is not Bubble Bobble. What is that? That, my friend, is that. That is the Final Fantasy V uh, boss music. Oh, oh, that would explain why I don't. I haven't played a whole lot of Final Fantasy V since the early 2000s. Oh. Well, now this is an interesting fight. Well, what we see here is that the antlion uh, loves to become a tree. <laughs> Hashtag spoilers for Final Fantasy V. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's rough. That's rough. He's going to eat a counter every time, but he's got a stack of Cure 2s, so he's just going to zerk one of his... And then just start feeding Cure 2s around. Yeah, the uh, this 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 boss spot is really tough for the Edward percent because you're very reliant on damage already, and then of course Handline himself will counter every damage. So, yeah, not an easy fight at all. But Kirchen handling handling it like a pro for sure. Yeah, sometimes the uh, the only thing to do is Zerk and chill, uh, which is something that I definitely had to learn a couple of times the hard way. Uh, an earlier Muppet would definitely have gone all out uh, and gotten pretty hardcore. We've got Penguinator uh, with a charmed Edward just hanging out, the, hanging out, helping out the uh, Maggot <laughs> sisters. Good stuff. That was a very tough fight, by the way, too, and he handled that very well. Oh, we see Iker actually going for the uh, Earth Crystal spot. Now we've got some di real divergence on stream, for sure. I am loving this. Oh, look at this. We've got this DKC stuff going on here. Oh! Have you ever seen five Edwards hide at once? Well, you got, you got two. <laughs> <laughs> well, two Edwards, three. Four. Four. Oh, by one HP. Look at that. <laughs> Beautiful. 
Uh, I'd love to talk to Dead Edwards about how justice is the, the, not the only right in this world. <laughs> <laughs> Someday you will see, as he just takes a face down nap. Oh, uh, what did Kirkshin find for his, uh... We call that subliminal learning, uh, Muppets. <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> uh, Kirkshin found the Luka key. So ah. that, is now, that is now on the table and probably something he'll continue to go for, even though it's a little scary. It's very scary. So there's Iker showing us the uh, preview after the fact of the DKC and the Golbez. A very neat addition to this randomizer, uh, actually showing which boss is at the Golbez spot when Golbez shows up in the uh, Earth Crystal cutscene. And Penguin coming out of there with the package, which... Heart. Probably the worst game you can get in these flags because there's no way you want to go through a, uh, a huge amount of boss fights and cutscenes just to get another Edward when they're so free already. <laughs> Is he doubling down on the tower there? No, no, he's doing the pan stuff now. Okay. So he will get his uh, twin harp in pretty short order too. Well, we're about to find out if Iker is going to actually take the lead right here. Ooh, that, that is a sure. Is pretty much. That is a sure. That is not a nice fight. However, he does have mute arrows. So uh, the way this works is that mute arrows do quad damage to Ashura as is because she is a, a mage type. So uh, one thing that uh, really does show off that Edward can be useful even in, you know, kind of normal runs of this game is uh, that, uh, that, mute, that mute arrow weakness. Yeah, back when I was running this uh, hardcore, I uh, made mute daggers a um, uh, part of any uh, edge uh, setup uh, until I hit Zeromus just because of this. Uh, there's there's all sorts of mute weaknesses. Uh, Ashura, uh, the Baron Guards. Um, I believe uh, Rubicent in the uh, in the element spot is also mage type. Don't, don't that... forget those Mega Sisters there in there too. Oh uh, yeah, and the Mega Sisters, a big, big, big uh, uh, weakness with the Mega Sisters. An easy way to deal with a very tough boss in a lot of low. So will Aker see the payoff here? We're, we're getting very deep into the chain right now. Pretty much it's this or Luca key. That is a pink tail. Oh. Very handy. <laughs> Probably not what he was looking for. It's not what he was looking for, but it is an adamant armor. He has the hook. Uh, we're probably going to see him cash that, that in right now, and that's going to make the rest of this a little less scary. So we've got the top of tower open right now, and we've got the Luca key open, open, open right now. I believe those are the only things we haven't seen checked on stream so far. So we're pretty much back to square one. Godzilla's gonna go do his twin harp, uh, you know, while Kirkshin's gonna cure three his way into a victory against the D Lunars. And in case anybody's curious, we still have no finishers, so this is this has been a, a very buried uh, crystal for sure. If you haven't played the after years, I would say that you should uh, give it a try. And then when you get to the final chapter, just stop playing. That'd be my <laughs> advice. <laughs> I've only played the first chapter of Kane's story. I really wish I had played a little bit more. You know, I may uh, try that later on. It's not bad. It's just that, uh, you know, they made that last chapter and you don't need to play that. You have some self-respect. <laughs> I mean, I have to play it. If I'm going to play everything else, I have to play the fight. Got to do it. Oh, you really don't, my friend. And you will find out the hard way if you try it. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that on stream, just the final chapter only, just so I can react to it. All right. And we got Iker going to the bottom of uh, Baron Castle, finding an Artemis bow and some Artemis arrows uh, in that little cluster of six chests. Look at all this uh, music we're about to have a choice between. Look at this all. Look at this. Two people hitting during this fight at almost the exact uh, same time. They both, and Zilch. they both used a kamikaze at literally the same time. Look, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> P 
Penguin wins the race of 60 seconds left to die. So I know we're supposed to be quiet for the music. I'm sorry, but uh, I should point out here, Kirchner's in a little bit of a pickle, looks like. He doesn't have those mute errors, I don't think, so he's going to have to actually fight this, a sure fight, kind of a reasonable way. Uh, she hits like a truck. And trucks run over Edwards, let me tell you. See him using that dreamer heart to uh, try to get her to switch up. Yeah, he keeps looking for for an elven bow or, or a mute knight or a mute dagger or a mute uh, arrows in there. He keeps not finding them when he looks. <laughs> Is this one of those times you just zerk and uh, roll RN? Well, no, because if you zerk, you actually risk Ashura going into her phases. What he could do is uh, actually bounce a wall onto her with the star veils. However, if you do that, uh, Ashura can also wipe your party really fast within this setup because Edward is not good. So I, I can understand the safety being applied here. Now he's going ham. Yeah, I felt like he got to a, a HP threshold that he thought was good enough and just kind of went with it here. That's not what I wanted to say. Mm. No. <laughs> Is he getting the life one here? Oh, man. <laughs> Very fortunate. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, this fight is almost as clench as some Zeromas fights I've watched. <laughs> if there's anybody who can do this fight, it's Kirch, and he's very good at this low-level kind of stuff. He spent a lot of time on this. He actually submitted a guide on it, so he's a very accomplished uh, runner in this, in this sort of field. Oh, now he's zerking. Oh, he's down to two Edwards. Hey! There goes the crumble. So Kirchner will be the second runner to pick up a pink tail. And uh, we're still looking for the the one who would dare test top of tower or Luka Key for the real advancement. And these are the two toughest boss spots that are in the, the vanilla key atom shuffle. So with Edward, it's very understandable that neither of our runners have taken that path. But uh, safety coming back to bite them a little bit as the seed just gets longer and longer. Yeah, there's really only the two locations left at this juncture. It's either going to be at the top of the tower or it's going to be uh, behind whatever is in uh, the uh, sealed cave. Of course, it could also be uh, that the top of the tower gives you tower key. <laughs> sure enough, sure enough. But the gateway is in one of those two locations. True enough. Uh, I believe the other one has to I believe the other one has to lead to the pass, right? At this point? I think we've seen everything else. That means we've got a spoon the seed. Oof. Yeah, no pass, no crystal, no spoon. No tower key. That's it. So Penguin, our first runner on the screen to uh, brave the Luka Cave. Or sorry, sorry, I should say the Sealed Cave. It's the Luka Key in the Sealed Cave. Um, location that uh, has a very nasty boss hiding, waiting for you at the at the end of it. However, uh, Super fast, a lot of hit points, plenty of strength. 
what would he like to see in this? King and Queen Ebon is what he would like mm -hmm. to see in the spot. Mm -hmm. What I would like to see in the spot is something that makes him actually, you know, work for the item. But that's just me. <laughs> that's just well, me who wants to go suffer. Of, <laughs> there are a couple of a uh, uh, few of bosses that uh, you can render free in a heartbeat. Still on the table. You still have your Baron Guards, I believe. Uh, you still have uh, the Officer Three Soldier encounter, uh, as well as King Queen Eblon. Uh, you have your uh, three dark imps. What I like about this play is that he can reset out of it if he sees that the key item is important or is not important. But uh, I think if he gets the pass, he might want to keep that anyway. So he, he really might be stuck here. Yeah, I don't know what I would reset out of because if I saw the spoon even, I might just fight my way through if it's worth it. Well, he was going to want to keep that. That's the crystal. He's going to need that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my, but, but here's the thing. Penguinator does not have a pass or a darkness crystal, so that is not go mode yet. Ooh, this is a very rough spot for Leviathan too. Ay -ay -ay -ay. Okay, so what he's probably going to want to do, the strategy I would use here is to starve everybody up and let Leviathan ice to himself a lot. Um, you can see him taking his time here, but this is actually really a dangerous fight though. Uh, Magic attack here is very high. The so Leviathan is always going to start with a big wave, which does one quarter of your max hit damage. Uh, that's area of effect. That's everybody. Right. The Silk Web is a big deal, too, for Leviathan because it's one of the bosses that kind of changes forms. Uh, he gets kind of even more slower than normal. But uh, yeah, with these Edwards here, this is going to be this is going to be a bit of a struggle fight here. I saw Zeus Rages in his inventory down there. You think he's going to pop uh, pop those Zeus Rages right about now? I think he's going to be worried about keeping his characters alive right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'd be doing. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, there's no amount of levels that uh, you could possibly put on, uh, on, on your Edwards here that are going to survive uh, 1340 Ice 2, not unless you are in full grind mode. And yeah, there goes the finally... Star Veil. You see him finally realizing the Star Veil is the way through this fight right now. Um, not a whole lot else he can play with, really. Well, he's got the Cure Potions anyway. He doesn't need to Cure 3 anybody or use a magic spell, so... Uh, kind of the play at this point is just to wait it out, I think. Uh, Star Veil up and then wait it out. Now, you don't think that uh, popping those uh, Zeus Rages would be a good idea in this spot? I mean, Zeus Rage will be fine once he's actually, you know, protected by everything. But uh, until then, he's going to have oh, the one character, the one character that wasn't well. This game knows, man. This game knows. Hashtag FF4RNG. Oh, and that is some sorry, sorry looking damage to see out of that. 872. Yeah, Edward, the, the thing is, Edward just didn't have a whole lot to work with here. Like, if you had an Artemis bow and lit arrows, that might be the best thing you could do as far as uh, actually dealing damage to Leviathan on your own. I well, I do see that he's got with that. lit arrows and an Artemis bow on that top yep. Edward, and you just zerked him. So I think uh, I think it's thinking along the same There he yeah, goes. I mean, going. That, that's about all you've got, really, with this party. <laughs> You know, the only problem is, is that uh, when your uh, Star Veil wears off on that character, it becomes a viable target for that Ice 2. And then you're back to square one. Oh, well, at that point, you're just hoping you've done enough damage to really be close to the end of this fight. And and really, it's got like 22,000 HP. It's not that bad. So you're just uh, trying to ride it out. He's doing 1,100 damage a shot with this. Getting about three, sh three shots in there per... Uh per one shot from Leviathan, so... Yeah, this was a, this is a tricky fight to figure out, but Penguin did a good job kind of routing it on the fly here. Oh yeah, you can definitely see that he was flying by the seat of his pants. And that's down and it's under control. So Penguin has the crystal, but uh, he still needs to find the other key item for go mode. That's right. Which I believe at this point, we are guaranteed to have a vanilla tower key and pass in the tower key room. Mm-hmm. 
Let's see if he uh, decides to go that way. Or if he takes uh, one of the other routes. Uh, has Penguin done the Earth Crystal? I believe not. Uh, he did not. He did not have the pink tail on the screen anyway. Oh. And we know that he doesn't have the uh, Darkness Crystal either because he didn't do Baron. So oh. he's got uh, a couple options, and all of them lead to paths that he's going to like. It's just uh, which one is fastest for him right now. Yeah, it's going to be a coin flip which way he ends up going. Uh, uh, we're, we're looking at pretty darn close to a 17 to 17 here. I would bet that he stays away from tower for sure, just because you don't know who what boss is up there and, you know, the other spots are a little bit easier. That being said, is there something to be said for getting the experience from that particular boss fight? It's a little bit higher, especially when you got double XP. Well, it really depends on what kind of strategy he wants for Zero Miss. I would assume the Penguin is trying to Kirchen it up here, but I'm not positive. I don't see mm -hmm. what he does. Oh, he's he's diving this tower. He believes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. I like the play. I like the play. I think he also might be metagaming here a little bit and, try, and you know, thinking nobody's finished yet in this race. It's 53 minutes in. Uh, the, the Whatever I need to get to Gomo is probably buried here. Now, if you told me that an Edward percent seed, you would expect somebody to finish in under an hour, I would have told you you are freaking crazy. Uh, oh, <laughs> yet here we are. 53 minutes in, almost all key items. Yeah, Edward can really do some work with the right stuff around him. Um, I, I guess one of the things, like, kind of as format designer for this is just kind of trying to show off here that... Uh, you know, every character has their uses. Every character is good in their own ways. And, you know, even though we uh, we added the kind of meme spoon flag for people to get some real Edward damage in, even without it, he's still pretty good. He's still got some things going for him. Well, absolutely. Absolutely. Even in uh, some of the uh, 2018, uh, we saw Edward do some damage against the Romus in the, in the final fight. Uh, you get that Artemis bow with uh, even samurai arrows in there. Zerk him up, and you're doing uh, just shy of 2,000 a shot, and he's wicked fat. And the boss of the top of tower is totally free. <laughs> Entirely free. It's hide, hide, hide city. You know, I guess that would be fast, wouldn't it? <laughs> I hadn't thought about it, but yeah, you're going to skip all those magic animations here if you do that. You know, the Hades is feeling really nice this time of year. I'm, I'm a big fan. I hear it's uh, I hear it's a little unseasonably warm. <laughs> I don't think Penguin knows if he can do that or not either. <laughs> <laughs> he popped out for a second, like, "Hello." <laughs> Wait, do I need to do something here, guys? Do you need my help? <laughs> oh, okay. We're good. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say this. Penguin has had some of the most personality full uh, moves in this uh, seed so far. You can just see some of his thought processes as he's playing. Oh, there it is. Sure enough. Vanilla Tower Key. Yep. And that will lead right to the pass. So Penguin will be happy with that. Uh, Kirchen on his tail will not be happy because he'll realize that he is going to 17 to 17 this. That being said, we have our first go mode. That's Zilch right up there in our top right hand corner, just foraged for the crystal. And he's going to find a rude, rude boss. He found the crystal. Can he keep the crystal? <laughs> There's the right. question. Ooh. Without even uh, a single move ready. Oh, hey, Wyvern, what's going on? <laughs> oh, hey, Wyvern. Bye, Wyvern. What, Wyvern. what, what a polite spot for Wyvern to That's be at. That's an incredibly polite spot. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's that big, big damage. And we can see Zilch popping those star veils right off the bat. So that's Kirchner showing off. You can just wait out. You don't have to pop back out, but <laughs> very funny that Penguin didn't really know and, you know, kind of injected his personality into it. He's had some, <laughs> as Muppet said, some funny moments today. 
Zilch is a little higher level than Penguin was when when he did this, so it's possible that this could be a little bit quicker, but only by a couple of turns. And you gotta be really fast when you're reviving Edwards for that auto hide. Blah. Yeah, well, the auto hide won't matter here because of the boss bit, but uh, because of how quick the big waves are coming out, it actually is going to be a challenge to keep up. And you see Zilch, has, Zilch is like, well, this strategy needs a little tinkering. <laughs> yeah, just a touch. That's a reset out. Let's see what Zilch is actually going to be looking for right here. Uh, the, what should Zilch be looking for in this particular moment uh, in order to take down Leviathan at this point? Well, obviously, as we said, as we said, as we said the Penguin, you're going to want Star Veils up because the Ice 2 damage is obscene there. Uh, if you find lit arrows, that's great too. It looks like Zilch does not have any, so that's a problem. But not not something you can't overcome with some uh, kind of some star bell play. Throw some Zeus rages and so I'm switching you know, positions with a couple of Edwards. Why would that? Well, he's looking for, for the best relative agility you can get. Looks like mm -hmm. is Penguin going up Earth Crystal here. Ooh, this is this is actually what? big for the race. So Penguin's gonna go for the Earth Crystal, which is gonna net him the Pink Tail. Is that correct? Right. So. I guess he must not want to do the uh, Kirchen strats at all, so... Or doesn't feel confident with his, with his armor to do it. So, um... He's gonna climb this... He's going to find the Pink Tail. That's not going to make him very happy because he's looking for Dark Crystal. That being said, an adamant armor is not the worst thing in the world to find. No, he's not going to be, like upset about it but uh yeah it's 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 going to set him back some more time unfortunately and we still have no finishers as we near the hour mark here now we say this there could be people fighting zermess on other screens we don't really know we're not watching them or commentators for this these four but uh you know if somebody's found the pass and the crystal and is trying to kind of curch and strap their way through it's going to be a long fight either way yeah, that was, uh, when I first saw that, uh, Zoroma's fight using his, uh, low-level strats, uh, I, I couldn't even believe it. Uh, but, I mean, the mechanics all check out, and once you see it, it makes perfect sense. Uh, not enough can be said about the creativity behind it, though. Yeah, as I said, Kirchen, uh, wrote, wrote the uh, low-level fight guide basically for the, for this randomizer so he has a lot of experience playing with edward in some in some very fun ways I'm on plague as well so uh very very fun runner uh very to see how his mind works here and the best part about it is is that uh every time you watch kirkshin run uh you have the potential of seeing something that you had uh, never thought to uh, was Kirkshin the first person to do the uh, breath reflect as well? No, that was actually done by accident by uh, Dipwood in the uh, league. <laughs> oh, that's right. Uh... So it's just a second try. To... He's got some people alive. He's going to want to wait on this life potion that we're going to see right here. But uh, at, least he, at least he's kind of figured out the... The, the way to take down this fight. Even it's gonna be slower than uh, Penguin was because he doesn't have those lit arrows. Well, I don't know. Uh, he's doing about uh, 1100 a shot with those samurai arrows, so seems to be getting most of the work done. Yeah, that's not too bad, I guess. I guess he's yeah. just higher level than Penguin was at that point. Yeah, Penguin's doing about 1,100 a shot with that. He's got a couple of Zerkers out there right now, uh, doing 900 and then 300 afterwards. Uh, so it, it looks like uh, he's going to pretty much break even here. Uh, Penguin finding the uh, Asherah uh, in the Valvolus spot. No hesitation there, throwing on some mute arrows and uh, taking a big old swig of wine. 
37 be, 80 on that shot. This will be this will be a very short fight, by the way. <laughs> so Kirchen doing something very important, which is silk webbing Leviathan, which we talked about when Penguin did it as well. Uh, Leviathan is is one of the uh, form changing bosses. Takes uh, sort of extra ATB. I don't want to say damage because it's not really damage, but you know what I mean. He takes even more of a hit with the, with the double slow, so that will help him out immensely. Uh, Zilch finally getting through that uh, Leviathan fight. Uh, on his way. That's uh, that's go 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 mode. Right? That it is. And Zilch was the one who never found the uh, the pink tail, right? So yeah, he's he's going to be that's doing right. this right now, man. And there's Penguin with his pink tail. See what Penguin does. Well, obviously, he's going to be turning that in, but then... Uh... Yeah, you, can, you can see that with uh, Kirchen's pink tail, that made the uh, Leviathan fight a lot easier because Ice 2 does one damage <laughs> to uh, whoever has an adamant armor on because it uses all the uh, damage. And instead of turning in the pink tail, Penguinator goes right into Baron. Yeah, he's clearly looking for darkness right now. He wants to grind. He wants to do what he is uh, more comfortable with, which, you know, by all means, I mean, that's what you want to do in a stream, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, and that will be a 17 of 17 for Mr. Penguinator right there. It will indeed, and he'll be chasing Zilch, who will be the uh, first one on our stream to the moon as he summons the uh, big well right now. Well, now, this is interesting. Penguinator has the pass, and Zilch doesn't. So Zilch is going to be doing uh, the walk of shame regardless. Uh, Penguinator might come back to the Earth and do the warp, because uh, uh, somebody said it was like 15 seconds faster than doing the actual walk. So as I said uh, er very early on our stream, when we were kind of cutting in and out, um, I know Penguin has been spending a lot of time doing uh, Searcher Mac Giant grinds in um, the Giant, so we could see that play here too. So let's do a quick, uh, a quick fire sale here. And I believe Kirchen is looking for more items, but otherwise he is in go mode, and I do not expect him to even think about summoning that Lunar Well. He's probably going to pass right in and uh, mm -hmm. put on a show for us. Meanwhile, Zilch is acting like the Marlins after winning the world, and, uh, selling out everything for a couple of silk webs and Grimoire. Uh, we're gonna offend Twitch chat, which doesn't like when we talk sports. But... Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> oh, there goes Gary Sheffield. Up, oh, oops. Oh, there's Charles Johnson. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh, they have to take Mike Lowell. Oh, all right. <laughs> what is Zilch doing here? Oh, there it is. Okay, I was curious. I, I was curious. I, I'd seen uh, just black screen on Solch's uh, stream for just a second there, and it looks like it was just going up. So he, I think he was in that menu, kind of contemplating how he wants to play out the rest of this, because uh, obviously slingshots are a thing here. Um, mm -hmm. Or does he just want to, you know, do a regular grind and not even worry about that? Uh, kill off this one uh, level five guy. So it looks like he's find, found the uh, weakest uh, Edward in his party and discarded it. So exactly how much of a slingshot are we talking? Well, for Zilch, we're probably not going to see much at all. But for Penguinator, I, what I expect to see is uh, probably killing around 700,000 worth of... Uh, Giants and uh, winding up with Edwards in the 60s. Zilch is making his way towards something pretty specific. Like, is Kirchin going to the moon here? This is interesting. This is not what I expected. Yeah. He may also just be doing this to get items. I'm not sure, but uh, 
This is this is a, a crimp in the in the style plans for sure. Iker is uh, leaving the sealed cave right now. That's everybody with go mode. Everybody on our restream is in go mode right now. Oh, he's picking up uh, 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 a low level. Uh, okay, I see what happened here. That makes sense. Sorry, this is the uh, the dangers of commentating a format where uh, you haven't really deeply practiced uh, the way these runners have. However, if you want us to talk more about baseball, <laughs> oh, we've got you covered on that one. <laughs> let me let me tell you about Armando Benitez's Marlins career. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> that old chestnut is he still around? No, <laughs> no, he is not. I think so. <laughs> he was like 40, 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> we have angered the Natara. Let's just say Adam in armor and Penguin is. Where is Penguin going to go? Uh, I would bet on him summoning the moon and I, I I'm sorry, summoning the whale. And then I bet yeah, I'm going right like to the a, Looks like a giant aquarian mammal is coming out of the water right now. Listen, Atar, I'm not saying that Edward looks like Craig Council. I'm just saying you can't unsee it when you think about it. That's true. That's, that's very true. Which means that is a very good contact hitter. That's right. Um, For like five. Decent OBP uh, will one day become a manager. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Not a bad manager either. So still have nobody finishing here. We've got Kirchen heading right to the moon. So we are going oh, to see. Oh yeah, here it comes. We are going to see the strats, folks. Kirchen giving the fans what they paid. For. And hey, you didn't have to even have to pay anything. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Punched your free entry ticket into the world of low. Come. So to kind of briefly go over the, the strategy, um, what you're going to see is that Kirchner's going to always be manipulating his Edwards to be hiding while Big Bang goes off. Oh, Zilch Otherwise... is doing it too. Oh, Zilch is here too. Oh, oh baby, this could be close. Like... <laughs> and they're side by side. So Kirchner's going to be manipulating this so that all of his Edwards are hiding when Big Bang goes off. Uh, he's going to be manipulating so that he has star veils up whenever something would uh, nuke him or virus him. And kind of from there, you're going to see him try to find interesting ways to get damage otherwise. But uh, his main job here is just going to be, can I make sure that I have enough Edward surviving to just squeak past him right, right here with this party? And whose butt are we going to kick today? Oh, classic. <laughs> Outstanding. Outstanding. A little Chrono Trigger reference. We got Slash Flea and all three of them. Does that mean we're in the end of time? <laughs> uh, that could mean that you're in the late game area. Or what was it? What are they called on Chrono Cross? The Bend of Time, I think. Oh, you could oh yeah, the there. Bend of Time. So we see so, Kirkson throwing down a silk web right off the bat, and uh, the middle Edward doing what he does best. Taking a nap. He will be he will be continuing that nap for a while, folks. Let me tell you. So our so top Edward got zerked. Pumping out uh, somewhere in the vein of 6,000 damage, and uh, well, it's, it's going to take a, a little more than a prayer to keep him on his No, oh, <laughs> just barely got him. So I don't want to take too much attention away from the Xeromus fight, but I do want to point out Penguinator is doing this Mac Giant grind right now, which is really cool, and, and I, I believe he will have some very high-level Edwards when he actually gets to Xeromus. If he can catch up to these two, I don't know, but uh, it is uh, something to keep an eye on. 
So what's the premise behind this Mactra? Is this, uh, is there like a, a elemental weakness that he capitalized there? Uh, like a vulnerability to petrification? What, what's going on? No, he's just going to straight up kill this thing every time. He's got lit arrows, so I, I assume uh, those do extra damage to him as well. But uh, other than that, he's just going to pound on, on these giants, kill the giant, life it up, and then bring it back. It's a little bit like uh, the Searcher uh, D-Machine grind, but without weak. Got a stack of vampires up in Zilch's screen gonna use those vampires to do a little bit of damage and then trigger a nuke counter. Just gonna bounce right off of him and come back on to Mysticmus. And you see Christian's, Christian's actually doing something a little different here. He is reviving an Edward to Bacchus uh, Mysticmus. And I believe he's trying to get to the second phase of the Aramis where uh, things get a little bit slower and there's a few more missed turns. Could also be trying to hit that... Uh... What is it, uh, 42,000 uh, mark a little bit earlier? Yeah, it's, it's potentially on the table as well, sure. At this juncture, uh, we're going to see it come down to execution and uh, damage rolls between Zilch and uh, Kirkshin, and this is pretty exciting to see. But what about that grind fight, though? What about that grind fight, though? The yeah, I, I guess this is pretty uh, impressive, too. I, I guess this is exciting too. Yeah, I mean Edward Percent, uh, basically kind of living on a prayer every every turn. We big bang, um, you know. Both of our runners are at a point where one mistake could kill the entire thing. On uh, down in the lower right hand corner, we see Iker doing it well, uh, a little bit different, uh, doing a uh, kind of a semi classic grind fight. Uh, you can see the uh, double King Ryu fight, which is the uh, rare encounter for this area of the uh, lunar subterrain. Uh, classic usage of hourglasses to stop them, and then you just uh, is going ham. Double experience with life glitching that uh, ends up netting you, what is it, uh, 180,000? Yes, uh, with the double, we will get 180,000. So, as you can see, uh, what we've got going on right now, we've got Zilch with the uh, slower strat, uh, but more steady damage here with with vampires and, and reflected nukes and we've got uh Kirshen doing the star veil but then also doing kind of this revive uh the one berserker strategy so he's doing more damage per kind of go around here but he also probably won't get the uh um the reflect reflect kill where uh you skip the second phase of the miss and the health refill unless of course he's counting it's just a possibility. Right to you. There are a few different ways to do this. Never really thought when I, when I began uh, speedrunning Final Fantasy IV in 2015 that we would be here watching Edward fight Zeramus uh, <laughs> and pulling out our calculators. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, I did not see that one coming. On uh, Penguinator, seems like uh, he's done with his grind because uh, he's killing the searcher right now. He just stopped it and uh, he's ended. Yeah, so that's going to be a lot of levels as you're going to see. Oh, yeah, 50 some odd levels for one of his Edwards, 39 for another, 15 on the other two. Uh, oh, yeah. so we've, got yeah. the, we've got a 63 and a 64 here. That was about the levels that I ended up fighting Zeromus with uh, just straight up with uh, five Edward Park. Oh, I want to forgot to turn encounters off. Well, it's okay. He's, he can hide. <laughs> well, you don't want to hide everybody, though, because... <laughs> Do you? Don't, don't you, though? <laughs> <laughs> 
I do I, I do want to point out we've we've still had no finishers, so this is this is still very tense right now. Zilch with Zilch slow and steady wins the race. Is what his hope is. You see Kirchhoff has a big stack of Bacchus wine, so he's not really too concerned about what's going on right now. Uh, Penguin is probably going to follow these guys in the fight very shortly via the pass, now that he's got his levels. Kirchhoff is uh, looking for something and ends up uh, selecting a Zeus ring because he wanted to trigger that uh, nuke counter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we might we might actually have him just quitting the revive stuff here, uh, trying to hit a certain HP value and then reflect kill. <laughs> Please don't make me think about seeing the Lannis more set chat. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> There's only so much I can take, guys. <laughs> So the penguin goes to the watery pass, picks up his uh, level five Edward, is it, that he starts at? That is correct, level five Edward. Looking for that uh, primo agility. Okay, okay, okay. It's like Big Bang. That's <laughs> over. <laughs> <laughs> it was the tone of voice that sold it for me. <laughs> there, there's resignation there in knowing that uh, no matter what you do, the memes are going to keep coming. <laughs> <laughs> Deaths of resigned sadness. Uh... <laughs> So Penguin's orienting his party right now. He's got that low-level Edward right in the center. Doing a save. And here it comes. We've got a more classic setup. Uh, sort of. <laughs> for Ed, for uh, Edward Percent and Penguin's party right there. As classic as this can be, uh, Penguin will be actually, you know, berserking people and trying to have uh, healers and whatnot and, and do, like, actual fight things as compared to kind of the chicanery of uh, Kirchhoff and Zilch. And Kirchhoff has uh, ended up reviving his Edward up to him again, uh, pumping out a little bit more damage again. You get to see ultimately which way is fast in this context. Yeah, this is, uh, these guys, uh, very tense moments for, for both Kirchen and Zilch as they are, they're trying to get through this last bit. You can see that Zilch has moved on to Silk Webs, that is because he has counted, uh, damage and he thinks that he is a lot, uh, close enough to start reflecting spells only. He doesn't want to move the, the HP figure anymore. Meanwhile, Kirchen is, uh, still pumping out stuff with Zeus Rage. I'm curious what Penguin's setup is going to be here. He may end up star veiling the two 1200 characters and using them as healers, uh, trying to nerf Big Bangs. Or, you know, he could just have, uh, <laughs> could just play it out a little bit differently. Could just try to, uh, to put as much damage as he can and hope that he can have some hidden characters revive people. Yeah, it looks like it's uh, double Bacchus and go for him right now. Uh, goes with, uh, Goes with that nerf of the first Big Bang. New counter on the top, Edward. That's the one with the adamant armor, if I'm not mistaken. Sorry, right, he's got a stack of Cure Threes for that. To cure what ails him. Only 17, though, so, I mean, not not a whole ton. Uh, we apologize for bit rate shenanigans. That's the ZMS fight for you. <laughs> 
lot of flashes, a lot of moving backgrounds. It's a lot happening right now. Uh, Penguin's decided to hide with two of his Edwards, including the center one, which is a little strange. Oh, there's three. Oh, yep. So this is clearly practiced by Penguin as well. Uh, we've got Kirchen bringing up his Edward again. He's probably going to keep the box, going back to the box as well. And we've got Zilch still working on the Reflex. Penguin's hitting him with, uh, for 2,200, 2,000 to 22 per shot uh, with his Edwards with the top tier bows and arrows right there. Uh, it's, uh, that uh, HP is uh, getting ground down real quick. Yeah, he's probably really dismayed that he didn't find a spoon anywhere, though. I got to I got to say that that is oh, something that you really want for the strategy to go fast. Yeah, but the spoon. Boone, you got, uh, what, maximum battle power. Uh, level 60 Edward's gonna be pumping out about, uh, 35 to 4,500 damage a shot. So we've got our first dot done, and that is from, uh, Simbu. Ooh. Who finishes in first place with a time of 123.15. GG, uh, Simbu. Remember, we can see the Penguinator is uh, deep, deep into this uh, into this Zeromus fight right now. It's going with the three hidden Edward and top and bottom dealing as much damage as possible. And it's ha happening a lot faster as far as uh, HP is concerned. Uh, pound for pound, shot for shot. Even though Kirshen and Zilch have nearly 13 minutes of uh, head start on him. Uh, it's gonna come right down to the wire on this one. We've got a second dot done from Dusty Griff with a time uh -huh. of one twenty three fifty eight. So that is a, a snubber, another another big point total for Dusty as he, uh, I think, pretty much clinches his hold on the World Series of Free Enterprise. Absolutely cleaning house, cleaning house in the World Series of FE. Remember seeing uh, Dusty start playing uh, right around the middle of the uh, league qualifiers in 2018, and I remember him specifically saying that uh, he didn't think he was ever going to be that good at this game uh, in the faces of uh, El Magus and uh, Rivers and all of them, and uh, here he is taking first and second dang near every single race. Just goes to show you with uh, a little know a little time, you keep plugging away at it. You can get there. Got a question for you, Muppets. Yeah. Isn't it ironic, don't you think? <laughs> and I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Send him home, boys. He's done. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, these are... These are unfortunately Zilch, Zilch and Kirchen both have some very long strategies going on here. They're very involved. Uh, I would say that they're both pretty close right now. I mean, we've already got Zilch going with the, the Silk Web stuff, so he's probably not too far off. Uh, I'm curious to know the strats that Simbu and Dusty used too. If they went with the uh, with the Kirchen style strats, or if they uh, ended up just uh, powering right through. Got a reflected virus here. Got a silk web here for Zilch. This is looking very clean by both. I should say, both of our runners have done a great job uh, on the kind of tightrope strat here. This has been very clean by both of them. Not to be overlooked, Icar is down on the lunar subterrain, uh, still grinding away on those random encounters. Hitting those uh, uh, Warlock, the Warlock and three carry fight, I believe, down there. Yep, and uh, he will not be too far off for sure. He's he's about halfway on his levels that he would need, I think, right now. Ooh, one of Penguinator's uh, Edwards hits the deck here. Ooh. One of the good ones, I should say. <laughs> one of the big damage dealers is down. It's all right, he's got a stack of life potions. He's got Cure 3s. Oh. 
We got that shake from Zeromus though, right as he brings up that life potion, and that could be bad. I think Zilch is pretty close right now. He's he's really put in a lot of these silk webs already. Yeah, we've got an unnerfed Big Bang incoming, and oh, down they go. That's really really not. That's a. Uh... And Zeromus or Mystic Miss has killed himself for Zilch. Oh! In third place with a time of 127.06. GG. GG, Zilch. Oh, Penguinator is up against the ropes right now. That nuke only. That was huge. <laughs> Penguinator is uh, definitely in panic mode right now. Uh, you never want to when you when you go grind 65 levels your goal is not to have uh, one of your characters wipe to Z <laughs> And we've got uh, Baka Shinobi in fourth place with time of 128.09 Good Baka game Shinobi. GG's to you Baka Very nice work. Oh Another real rough damage roll from that unnerfed Big Bang takes down his bottom Edward again. The real problem here is he's going to run out of cure threes. He doesn't have that many left. Yeah, Penguin's still up against the ropes, but with the hide strats, you can get it done. Yeah, he may need to regroup a little bit here. And we've got Kirchen taking down Mystic Miss. Bada bing, bada Place. boom. Time of 128.49. GG Kirchen. Coming in in fifth place. He changed the game with the Edward Percent strats. You can see that uh, in the end, it looked. Uh, having to go 17 for 17 may have been the difference in this particular uh, in Yeah, I would bet that uh, some of our other runners did not finish as many uh, key items as Kirchen. Sometimes we'll you win if... the coin flip and sometimes you lose it. We'll see if uh, either of them wants to come in for an interview. So we see Penguinator now uh, getting his run Mystic Miss is actually really, really fast right here. This is one of those fights that can absolutely annihilate you. If, if you misstep once, if you get one bad damage roll, it is not a polite fight whatsoever. Uh, and if you get it on the ropes, it is really, really difficult to get back off. Well, he's he's going to hold A on this one. He's just trying to hide his way through this at this point, I think. He's decided he's going to eat this big bang. Well, he does have the atom, and that's going, that's going for him in a good way. But uh, other than that, I mean, he may be out of cure threes. Is that what's going on here? Oh, he's got two. Yeah, he's, he's really trying to conserve those. I see him pausing occasionally. What's up with that? So, um, what I think is happening there is I believe that Penguin believes that he is reducing lag. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he's timed that or anything, but uh, I believe uh, that's kind of his point of view here. Yeah, he's out of cure threes at this point. He's got to he's got to just hold a or, or you know, try to hide his way hide his way through everything. Uh, uh, he's just hoping he... to push himself into medio phase and then maybe done. Push himself into medio phase and then get lucky that he dodges. Yep. The media. <laughs> Pretty much. There's a hide. Meanwhile, over on a cure screen, we've got. Uh... 1500s HP, so he's getting pretty close to being ready to fight Tiramis himself. 
The way that AK is going about this is pretty much the way that I went about this when I percent C. I knew nothing about the Kirkshin style strats. Nothing at all. Yeah, I played a grand total of one of these flag sets and I grinded very high myself, so yep. there's definitely no shame in that. And look, Penguinator has switched it. He has forced himself into using Kirkshin style strats. Look at this. <laughs> gotta win the fight, right? <laughs> That's whatever, right. Whatever you gotta do, you gotta do it. <laughs> There's the shake. There's the big bang. This is tense. All right. Unfortunately, uh, Zilch does not have a microphone, so he's not going to be able to do an interview with him with us. But uh, GG to him. Hey guys. Joined by Kirchen here. Uh, congratulations, fifth place with that 17 of 17. Uh, uh, yeah. I also told myself I'd try the new strat, even if it was a little bit slower, because it kind of needs a little more gear to really outpace the first one. Yeah, d talk to us about that new strat, uh, because we saw sort of a variation on you, uh, whereas we saw uh, more of what we saw to you before uh, in Zilch's stream with the classic uh, just hide reflect strat. So what were you doing over there with the Z fight? So um, I was testing it probably Monday or Tuesday night. Uh, I checked out that uh, Meteo phase is actually separate because that's always what killed me before. Uh, so I didn't trip phase two. So I figured if I did reflect strats to uh, skip phase three instead, it's a smaller window. And Zeromis is also a lot slower and a lot easier in phase two. So if you're trying to reflect, you can get like a lot more nukes off per minute. Huh. So if I had the spoon or an adamant armor or uh, I'm sorry spoon or artemis arrows like it would have been faster But I told myself going in if it's close. Maybe I'll try the new one just for fun So you get down in there and uh, the sealed cave uh, You find that crystal and then you see Leviathan in there. Uh, tell us what was going through your mind at that uh, I knew pretty much safe with the adamant armor on the uh, the one Edward I just kind of throw all my gear at exactly one of them. So uh, basically, as soon as I got the silk web off, I just kind of cured him once or twice to make sure the waves wouldn't outpace him. But he was hitting hard and fast enough where I wasn't really scared. I was kind of kicking myself for not checking it before, though, because uh, the moment I saw uh, that on, I think it was Rodeo, I told myself I should prioritize this, and then that just kind of got caught up in the tower check and the pan check and everything. Oh, yeah, are, you, you, you wound up with, uh, you were the first one on stream that we had to go actually do our deals and, and find kind of that twin harp uh, route where you wound yeah. up with that Luna key and you were, I think, the third one to check it. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, well, I kept putting it off. I kept getting, you know, chasing butter. Yeah, well, yeah, with this seed, there were uh, plenty of butterflies to chase too. You had a lot of options available to you right off the bat. Uh, the, the entire overworld, save for uh, the Twin Harp, even before you had underworld access, uh, could have been uh, wide open to you. And uh, yeah, everything was pretty much available, so it was just a handful of coin flips. Yeah, except for good arrows. Um, about halfway through, I started to get a little nervous because I was running low on Zeus for ages. I ran out of Gaia Drums and Star Veils. I was like, oh, I'm kind of losing my <laughs> consumables here. So I was happy when I finally found Samurai Arrows. Like, not ideal, obviously, but it's better than nothing. I, after a while, I was just kind of panicking a little bit. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. talk to us about that. Uh, when you're, you're winding down, I mean, you're 14th of 17 key items right there, and you're looking at items, and you see, I don't have anything better than darkness arrows, right? Uh, what are you specifically thinking that you're going to do about that? Are you going to go shopping? Are you going to go treasure hunting? Uh, what, what do you prioritize first there? Uh, anytime I can uh, check a lot of chests quickly without having to deal with too many fights because I'm not worried about levels, so that's a bigger waste of time. So if there's chests on the way, um, sure, I'll go for those. But uh, after a while, I was checking a lot more weapon shops than I used to just because, again, even RD arrows would have been a <laughs> game changer right there. Probably would have saved like three minutes on the yeah, you uh, were the only runner on stream who actually had a, a tough fight out of the Ashura spot on top of the Earth Crystal. Everybody else found either Mute Arrows or, or an Elven Bow, but you kind of had to work through that one a little bit more cautiously. 
Yeah, I threw away the elven bow because I was like, I have an Artemis. What are the odds I don't find mute arrows <laughs> at all during my event? And then I kind of, once I got to her, I kind of just got irate with myself. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to do it slow and safe. I could double reflect, but let's let's play with spinning her. Let's have some. Well, uh, GG's. Any final thoughts, Kirkshin? Uh, no. Good seed. Uh, that was actually the type of seed I was right about. Whenever it goes 16, 16, or 17, 17, that's kind of where it slows down a little bit. But uh, uh, Doesn't that figure? Doesn't that figure? Yeah. Well, good running all the same, and uh, thank you for showing off uh, a slight variation on the strat that you showed, what, a, a week ago? Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> I figure if there's a better version... Maybe have some fun with it, show it off a little bit. Maybe someone will find a way to use it in regular parties. So that's the goal. <laughs> All right. Well done. Well done, man. Thank you very much. Yep. Thank you, guys. Thanks for doing all the uh, tough stuff. <laughs> well, we get to have... <laughs> have a good evening. You yeah, no worries. Thanks a lot. Yeah, tough stuff. We're just watching them do the tough stuff. <laughs> Speaking of having to do this tough stuff, Penguinator is still slogging through this Zeromas fight right now. Yeah, this has been this has been a real high wire act for Penguinator. He's trying to find ways to uh, trip him. Uh, sorry, to trip the boss without uh, oh. <laughs> getting destroyed. God, and he just barely gets that hide off too. I see the shake right as he hits that run buffer. Yeah, one thing a lot of uh, new players I think need to become aware of with Zeromus is that the amount of run buffering you're able to do in these fights actually does help oh, out no. a lot. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> you didn't think he had the wall up I didn't still. think he had the wall up. I was so worried. <laughs> this right here is actually a much more entertaining fight than all of the others that I've seen today. So actually what I'm worried about here is if I were him, I would not want to trip the media phase at all. And the Ether ones could do that. Uh, Ether ones do perform a check against something that uh, Mystic Miss in this case has. So if, if he happens to, yeah, if he happens to uh, get too far down this chain, he could trigger Meteo Phase, where you would really just want to use the crystal here because the crystal doesn't right. change anything. Right. I think what he's probably thinking is that the animation for uh, Ether One is so short and uh, he's not necessarily doing any damage. So perhaps that's going to be uh, good enough. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and, and you know he he knows he has a lot of HP left to slug through too. I'm sure. So maybe that factors in as well. Think about all of the consumables that he's going through too. Like every time that black hole comes up, that's another star. You really do wonder if at some point here he's just going to block us and go for it. I mean, if he accidentally ends up tripping Meteo Phase, that's the only answer, right? Um, yeah, I mean, he has no Cure 3s left. I don't so know if he's... Bacchus and Hope. I don't know if a run buffer would... I mean, he's got Adamant Armor, so maybe a run buffer uh, hide would work, but it would be very tight if so. Well, if there's a runner that can pull off a run buffer that thin, uh, Penguinator is one of the runners who can do I'm playing with a little uh, run buffering right uh, right before he gets that cure two off. I think he's anticipating the medio phase. Over on Acre Stream, we've got uh, a couple more levels here. He's probably close to the 60s. I don't know if he's ready yet. Yeah, he's in the 60s already, so he's probably pretty close. Got his Edwards over 2,000 here. This might be go time for him. Yeah, we can see him start his walk. <laughs> I always do that too, Ecker. I, I always go the wrong way. <laughs> oh, yep, <laughs> there it is. I will say there are worse life philosophies than wine and hope. Penguin on that Ethan one. I'm going to continue the either ones, the either oneization of this fight. What I should say also is that that you will. Oh, oh there it is. There it goes. So apparently it doesn't trigger it. 
Interesting. Huh. I wonder if that is a JP thing or not. Well, anyway, uh, GG the Penguinator, who has finished in eighth place at the time of 141.38, surviving by the skin of his teeth. That uh, was an absolute slog. He was up against the ropes the entire fight, and he managed to get through. Uh, GG's to Penguinator, that eighth place does not even begin to describe the work that he put into that fight. Uh, and it's uh, really good work to actually finish that one out. See if we can get him into uh, chat. Yeah, I also missed uh, seventh place was Dark Kobold with the time of 140.06 GG to him as well. And looks like we've got Acre about to storm the final boss here. I think maybe Penguinator's catching his breath after that. And we are joined by the the man, the myth, the 20-minute Zero Miss Fight legend, Penguinator. Uh, Penguinator, <laughs> I feel like I need to give you a Gatorade after that. Uh, it certainly used to something. <laughs> <laughs> so you get two troll damage rolls on that bottom uh, edge. And uh, at that moment in time, uh, Rivers said, oh, now you're in panic mode. Uh, what exactly uh, were you thinking? at that moment in time uh which time exactly when when i switched to just the one edward well yeah you basically had uh two edwards still standing one in critical and the one top uh after your second troll uh a uh, big bang roll on the bottom uh unnerfed so i i well, as long as i had cure threes i figured i could keep just curing the top guy because he had an m and armor and just keep shooting as long as I had cure threes left, but once I ran out, um, I, I had no real way to stay alive except for do what I did, which was dodge the big bangs and reflect new. So you pretty much decided at the beginning of this run that you were going to do the uh, the Mac Giant grind no matter what here? Uh, no, I actually was not going to learn cartoon stress, but then last night, Started messing with it and learned it faster than I expected. So well, I certainly served you well at this point. <laughs> I had that as an option, um, but by the point I had the pass, I not only had 10 key items to make the grind faster, there were only two remaining spots. And I, I thought that um, at that point, it's just faster to go and find the darkness crystal and grind. And even if I missed, which I did in this case, I was getting either the spoon or the adamant armor, which also should have kind of made up some time as well. Yeah, I know Spoon in this one really probably hurts you a, a lot more than most of the runners, huh? Yeah, for sure. And I wasn't really comfortable doing pure reflex strats without the Spoon. I'd only practice with the Spoon. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So one more question I have is, uh, what did you think of that Mist Dragon key item? Uh, yeah, I, re I really like that one. <laughs> Tried to follow that one as long as I could. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was great because we could all just see on on your screen. <laughs> you just be like, wait, 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 what? Oh, oh, right, right, that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I th I think that one is better than forgetting the whole game that Edward has something. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I've done that. I I remember that. that. Uh, so y you did this Mac Giant grind, uh, which I had really never seen before. Uh, tell me a little bit, like, why the Mac Giant specifically? Because uh, I know the JP version uh, of the uh, old No64 speedrun, uh, they grind on horsemen, is that correct? Uh, could be, I'm not familiar with that one. The, the Mac Giant is worth a lot more experience than the horsemen. The Mac Giant's 30,000. And the good thing about the Mac Giant is pretty much anyone has a way to kill it. And also it's only physical attacks. So by using either Lugions or Moon Veils, the latter of which I'd never found this game, um, you can make yourself immune from all of the attacks. And you can also get bonus damage. They are giants and they are robots, so they take quadruple damage from lightning arrows as well as charm arrows. So there's ah. charm arrows there before quadruple damage ah so that's what those were yeah i hadn't really studied that but uh 
uh, Muppets. Yeah, that is the that is what happens in the JP version. They uh, find one moon veil in the entire seed, throw it on Cecil, and have him cover everybody while they take out the the, the uh, Mac Giants. Oh, ah, that's it. The Mac Giants. Got it. Yeah, I've never seen the Mac Giant grind before. Uh, I've only ever been familiar with the D Machine grind. Uh, the creativity behind that is uh, wildly interesting. And uh, we noticed that you, you grabbed a couple of uh, level five Edwards before you headed up there for a little slingshot. Uh, do you map out specifically how many Mac Giants you're gonna kill uh, in order to slingshot enough? Uh, is that a preset number or do you just sort of feel it out in the moment? Yeah, it's, it's pre-calculated. My I was going for 12 typically, um, but with an admin armor, I figured 10 would be enough. I think I ended up with 11 actually this time because I, I missed a life by accident. Mm. But, but, um, but yeah, that number is pretty calculated. And it's fantastic. based on having enough HP to survive Big Bangs. Well, definitely uh, GG to you. Um, when are you planning on starting the uh, 2v2? Which, uh, which ones are you going to make? I think we're aiming for all of them. Uh, teamed up with Flurry and last time I checked hoping for all of them too so nice well we can obviously early tomorrow. <laughs> you and me both well well good luck and uh hopefully uh you can make another final table out of that one too all right thank you yeah yeah and uh very nice recovery on that z5 penguin G thanks all right so we are now back to akir where uh you, if you missed the start of this fight, uh, we seem to be going with uh, three Edwards. And uh, I believe that Akir is out of arrows on his one, oh, the one Edward no. that he does not want to run out of it. <laughs> well, that black hole is going to make it so you can re-equip some arrows on. Uh, I've definitely uh, been caught Zerk punching before on uh, some of my Edward, uh, Edward strap. So a true story here. Uh, via via glitching actually what you can do is while a berserk is loading in on a character you can switch their weapon out and have them retain that weapon's attack power we actually use that in no 64 now but uh you can have kane kind of karate chop zero for 2700 to turn if you really want to <laughs> that's wonderful <laughs> So, so just so just so you know, you know, punching zero miss can be good. Just in this scenario, it didn't really work out for a uh, for Acre. Uh, this is a silly, silly game, and I love it. <laughs> this is a silly, silly category of a silly, silly game right here. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, definitely sillyception that we're watching right now. Iker's uh, hiding a couple of his Edwards and uh, just uh, going all in with uh, the other two down in the bottom. Did we just see a, a face change? Yeah, I think we did. Yeah, it's it's. There's a little telltale delay there. If you if you've got a careful eye, you can watch that happen. Yeah, if you're uh, at all familiar with uh, classic Berserk strats, you're very accustomed to seeing that little hesitation that uh, the telltale sign of uh, switched from phase one to phase two. So while I have a second, I also want to put a good game out to Aizan Tayama, who finished in ninth place with a time of 144.08. Well done, Aizan. So I believe that leaves Akir, um, Chokosura, and Scratch. No, Chokosura finished. Uh, Akir and Scratch Dragon are our. Oh, Moonblaze Wolf. Those are our three that are still playing this out. Mm -hmm. And it's time for more wine. Well, you know, Edwards lived a tough life. You know, um, he watched Golbez. Uh, have have his girlfriend killed so i think he deserves a drink yeah yeah uh it, it's been a rough road for the old spoon with a hat on but uh he's about to get his uh his revenge on mysticmas right here 
pretty much times five. Pretty much anybody who uh, <laughs> who who is in this game character wise deserves some wine after the story. I feel like <laughs> I was got a pretty rough story. In fact. I can't think of anyone who has a not rough story in FF4. Everyone's got a pretty rough story in that. Yeah, uh, I was uh, I was thinking, you know, Edward definitely has a rough. As rough as Tella, who actually dies, maybe not. But I mean, it's pretty far up there as far as yeah. the ranking goes. I mean, even Fusoya doesn't have an easy time of. Yeah, what about that time he turned into a mop? That was brutal. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you're seeing more straight up Zerk and heal, Zerk and heal strats from Ikear. Yeah, this is a much slower way to do the fight, um, especially not having uh, a real good arrow source, I would say. But uh, shouldn't be any major difficulty, as long as he doesn't get an uh, uh, un unlucky Big Bang roll. Uh, like that? I've never cursed anybody before. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um. Oh, that is not an opportune time this, to pop. A this is this is not what you're going to want to say. Yeah. Ooh. Uh. Come on. Oh god, okay. Well, just like Penguin, we're at the point where we have one uh, Edward with an Adam and Armor on, and that's kind of the saving grace, but uh, this is going to be a little struggle, at the very least until he gets people up, or, you know, potentially for the whole fight like Penguin's was. Well, he's popping that star... Oh, just a little too late. He was popping that star veil, because I think he was... Th about that time, right? Oh, yeah, this is definitely about that time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you see him pull that crystal up. Here it comes. Yeah, so the crystal um, has a very long animation time, but is guaranteed to uh, not trigger any zero miss uh, phase changes. So become kind of a uh, main key for some runners in, in this uh, category since you're always guaranteed to have it anyway. And there's that hide. Just like Penguinator was, uh, Icar is uh, backed against a corner and fighting for the life. He needs, he needs some run buffers here, and I don't know if he knows them. Uh... Yeah, you saw how how smooth Kirchen and Zilch made this fight look. It is not easy. And, you know, unfortunately, Iker is kind of showing off uh, where this can go wrong right now. And obviously he wasn't trying to get here. He got he got four Edwards up with a lot of levels, but uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes Edward Percent makes fools of us all. What I really like about what just happened here is that Iker has really taken a moment. It's like, okay, Whoa. Let's time this out. This is a little bit of a game of double. double. Let's time this out. Make it happen. Regroup. Get back after it. Is it family double dodge? Doesn't under Yeah. That's uh that's where that's where I care is going to have a real real tough time. He's definitely needs to pop a run buffer off gonna make it between those two uh big bang well he shouldn't have problems actually getting his edward out at the right time it's just that he's kind of been well, permanently stuck that's it well, mm. yeah well that's a wipe that's but a real rough wipe too that far into the fight yeah Oh, game speed two. Oh, okay. I did not see that he was on game speed two. So, yeah, that would be a problem. That's funny. I've uh, I've never run on anything except for battle speed one. So, uh, 
That might be why I would have a, a bit of a tougher time with these sorts of strats. So we've got Boom Blaze Wolf in 10th place with a time of 154.50. And we've got Scratch Dragon in 11th place with a time of 155.18. So GG to both of those runners, both of them have had a very strong uh, World Series. And uh, unfortunately, we got Acre all alone here, but he is playing for pride, and I hope that he can get this done right now. Me too, me too. So I'm hesitate right there for a moment. Well, la di da, Muppets. <laughs> <laughs> well, la di da. Kiss my grits. <laughs> I like grits. Oh, no, no, no hate on grits here. Yeah, I promise. So hopefully we won't see uh, as trolly of Big Bang rolls there. The, the lack of defense really makes that a touchy proposition. Yeah, our, 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 our poor Acre here is really needing to either hide or get some good rolls. And uh, unfortunately, last time around, he did not get the uh, the good rolls. Yeah, I, I think the lowest roll that we saw for him uh, ended up being 2,000 something. <laughs> he got an 1,800, I think, on the, the fourth one. It was like barely enough to kill that one 1842, Edward. I mean, once you're in the uh, once you're in the range of about a hundred hit points, you're in the danger zone anyway, just because of the uh, HP leak. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, what, what when you do when you do an Edward percent, you you really want to see the spoon for this kind of fight. That makes things a lot easier. It makes the damage come out a lot faster. And uh, Aker getting unfortunately uh, forced into the situation where he only has the bows and arrows. I think the uh, one seed I ever run had no spoon in it either. Uh, and uh, it took me two hours and 43 minutes to complete that seed. Oof. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and uh, some of the more experienced runners who understand uh, the low level strats uh, could have probably finished that seed in uh, roughly the time that we just saw uh, Zilch and Kirkshin uh, finish the seed in. Well, uh, the one time I did this category was actually at the end of a gauntlet of all six of the uh, World Series flags, and I was so tired I couldn't even see myself like thinking. <laughs> so <laughs> let me tell you, it was not it was not a glorious fight there, but uh, we got it done. <laughs> Touch and go for a little bit. Oh, it looks like we've got some raids coming in from, uh, who is this? The Free Enterprise? Is that a thing? Free Enterprise? Yeah. Is that a channel? All right. Yeah. Well, good job to whoever started that one. Yeah, the Free Enterprise channel uh, has been known to uh, walk around and tell people what to do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, there's, there's nobody who said that. <laughs> That's never happened. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had Free Enterprise come into my, my channel and tell me to do some stuff. <laughs> well, listen, I'm sure Free Enterprise just was too lazy to log out. <laughs> of whoever, whoever was running the Free Enterprise thing at the time, I'm sure. <laughs> what? So you, if you've enjoyed this race, uh, please, by all means, come uh, check out... Uh, the free enterprise game uh ff4fe.com we've got a discord server full of helpful hints helpful people who want to help you out uh it's a really engaging community uh, a lot of kindness and uh we try to build each other up and it's not all edwards uh this is one variation on a myriad of variations on an open world randomizer and one of the most open seen And yes, if you have not already, you like what you saw, you want to know more, you want to see something different, follow all of these runners, Penguinator, Zilch, Kirkshin, Ikir, 
Follow them all. All this, right, so this is this is looking a little bit better for Akir this time. Got a little bit more methodology behind. Being a little bit more diligent about popping those cure threes. Being a little bit more diligent about popping the high. I gotta say, I, my favorite way to approach these flags is to just star bail two of the Edwards out and, and kind of make sure that uh, you can nerf the big bangs. But uh, I understand that timing is not for everybody. Okay, okay, that's not bad. That's a big that's bang a we can live with. That's a big bang that's we can live with, folks. Now, now what Ikear does not want to see is an untimely phase change, <laughs> right? Here. I think what Ikear wants to see is Zermus flash. That's all he wants. Well, that's fair. That's he doesn't absolutely. care how it happens. <laughs> There's that black hole. So we will get some uh, of, of his Edwards out of this uh, Baka status now. Um, be interesting to see what he plans to do with this. He does, he does remember this time to actually put more arrows on his Edwards, so that is a good thing. We are on the second phase. That's also a good thing, because that means a lot yeah, that, more attacks. And uh, that's not a horrible target for Nuke, either. Yeah, this is this is going a little bit smoother, for sure. It's only the start of phase two, though, Rivers. Let's uh, still plenty of HP to chew through right here. Oh, come on. He's got Edward. What's, what's, what's the problem? What's the hold up? <laughs> Uh, he's, uh, he's in medio phase. He is in medio phase. I thought we were just starting phase two up. That's what happened. Uh, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rocks falling from the sky. Arrows flying from the bow. Let's finish this. Finish him. Or them, as it. Yeah, them in this case, for sure. And do we have. Uh... Oh, Edward, ever clenching here. Oh, he got oh. it. He got it. There Ooh. it is. Shake, rattle, and roll. Mystic misses down. Ikea is done. Time of two hours. Four minutes and 20 seconds is what we see up here. What's the official? No, that is the official SRL time. That is yeah. the official. Okay, great, great. We do a good job of that. I think I think yeah. our, our, our e-streamer, Smifty, has done a great job considering all, all the problems we had to deal with early on. So that is that. Akir in 12th place will get one point. Um, Saturday and Sunday oh, at twitch.tv. Slash free enterprise, we will have um, the beginning of the 2v2 qualifiers, which, if you haven't seen that before, involves uh, two runners taking on a seat at the same time and both trying to route it out and uh, finish. I'm personally looking forward to that. Uh, I'll be I'll be joining in tomorrow uh, in the evening time as well for some of that. That is right. <laughs> Kirsten, don't make me look bad. <laughs> stop, <laughs> stop it. I do that with blood off my own. I don't need help. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever's that's uh, that's Edward percent. Uh, what are your thoughts uh, about what we just saw? Those are definitely some zero miss fights. Um, I'm very happy that we were able to throw that meta game right out there for everybody to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just to see the the power that Edward can wield with his hiding. <laughs> the power of running away. Yep, that's right. So uh, back for the final table of 2v2 on RPG Limb Break next Friday. So uh, please join us then. Um, until then, uh, I'll be Rivers McCown. And uh, Muppets, do you want to say any last words? Uh, it's just uh, been a pleasure, Rivers. I, I, I uh, hey. 
talking shop and uh, knocking it out of the park. Uh, specifically the uh, baseball talk. By the way, uh, how about the moves that the Phillies are making, right? Yeah, they look pretty good this year, right? Big Exos fan here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you very much for joining us. Tomorrow.